Okay. Hi, good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How is everyone doing today? Oh, just great. Oh, okay. Awesome. So, uh, we are so happy to be in the high school Sunday class. And we are talking about um, the um, topic, it's called Jesus sometimes requires different levels of faith. So throughout the Bible, we can see this kind of pattern. In this um, lesson, we will know there is a big idea of this lesson, is that Jesus sometimes requires different levels of faith from different people. So there is no comparison that sometimes you are encountering some difficulties or <laughs> life problems, and you say, hey, why do I need to deal with this? But no, everyone is different. So you, Jesus requires different levels of faith from you. Um, we will be looking at the um, story today to see what happened to Jairus and the bleeding woman. So let me ask you a question. There are two questions in the handout. So the introduction question would be, have you ever wondered throughout Jesus' ministry on earth, why did he choose to heal certain people but not others? Is yes. he a fair God? So, do we see this kind of pattern in the Bible? How about, do you have any example? Like, did Jesus save John the Baptist from the prison? No. No, Jesus did not save John the Baptist from the prison. Um, even though John the Baptist was the um, pioneer of Jesus, but Jesus did not save him. He just, he just have, yeah, he was beheaded. No one, Jesus knew it, but did not take any action. Um, how about Jesus raised Nathras from dead? Did Martha and um, Mary ask for that? No. Did, did they? No. no. They, did, they just thought, like, hey, just come here, we are friends. And why did you just not come here earlier? So there are different. So you see the John Baptist. Jesus did not even save him. But for Nathras or a lot of um, sick people, that Jesus just healed them without them asking. Um, Jesus to heal them. So do you think Jesus is fair? How come that he saved someone but not others? Is he is he fair? So this is a question that we can think about this through the lesson. And the second question would be why did some people get away with Jesus? But others try very hard, but their request was still de delayed or even denied by Jesus. Like Jesus himself, what was Jesus' request to the Father when he was in the Garden of Gethsemane? He wanted Father to take the, take the cup from him, but did the Father did it? No. So, Jesus himself experienced this kind of delay and denial when he requested. So we can think about what's going on in this. So as the uh, Bible reading today we just read, can we all read it um, together one more time? And then there are, the first question would be um, that... I want you guys to identify two main protagonists, like two main characters in this. There are two main characters, right? As we read, one is Jairus, and one, Jairus. And one is the bleeding woman. One woman. So that's all read together. <laughs> Good job. So that's all read together, and we can identify these two main characters. Okay. So we will read responsibly. I will read. I will start. Now when Jesus returned, a crowd welcomed him, for they were all expecting him. And, and behold, there came a man named Jairus, and he was a ruler of the synagogue. And he fell down at Jesus' feet and begged him to come to his house. Because his only daughter, a girl of about twelve, was dying. As Jesus was on his way, the crowd almost crushed him. Now a woman having a girl of blood for twelve years, who had spent all her life with her on physicians and could not be healed by any. She came up behind him and touched the edge of his cloak, and immediately her bleeding stopped. And Jesus said, Who touched me? And all the men and Peter and those with him said, Master, the multitude is strong and press you, and you say, Who touched me? But Jesus said, Someone touched me, and I know the power has gone out of me. Now when the woman saw that she was not hidden, she came trembling, falling down before him. She declared to him in the presence of all the people the reason she had touched him, and how she was healed immediately. Then he said to her, Daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace. While he was still speaking, someone came from the ruler of the synagogue's house, saying to him, Your daughter is dead. Do not trouble the teacher. Hearing this, Jesus said to Jairus, Jairus, do not be afraid, just believe, and she will be healed. When he came into the house, he permitted no one to go in except Peter, James, and John, and the father and mother of the girl. 
Meanwhile, all people were wailing and mourning for her. Stop wailing. Jesus said she is not dead but asleep. And they were knowing that she was dead. But he took her by her hand and said, My child, get up. And then the spirit returned, and she rose immediately, and he commanded that she be given something to eat. Her parents were astonished, but he ordered them not to tell anyone what had happened. Okay, that's all praise today, okay? Father, we thank you for this time that we can study your word freely. Um, as we um, uh, look at the story today that uh, you want to teach us through uh, Jairus and the bleeding woman, that sometimes we require different faith uh, from different people. And as we um, get this big idea, let us know what areas in our life that we need to grow stronger um, of faith in you. And we pray that as we uh, go through the passage, that you will give us the heart of understanding and spirit of knowing what you wanted us to know. And we thank you. Uh, pray for everyone here that we can uh, be sitting here and listen to your word. We thank you and we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay, so um, there are two main characters in this story. So who are they? The, the first one is Jairus. Jairus. Who is Jairus? What is his occupant? I mean, what does he do? Synagogue leader. So how would you describe his social status? Hi. Oh, thank you guys. <laughs> and then how about that boy? <laughs> How about that bleeding woman? Very low. Why? Why would you think? She's poor. She's poor. Yeah. He was white enough. And she spent all her money. She spent all her money on the. Oh, good observation. Great. So, and he was poor, and he spent. A, and how would you describe her? Like twelve year of bleeding, suffering, <laughs> suffering. Do you know what guy? Do Do you guys know what bleeding is? Yes. That no, you're pure. Your okay. period never stops. Oh, that would be so. really good. <laughs> <laughs> it will be. Oh. So, it's thank like, you. Thank yeah, you for that so wonderful explanation, yeah. <laughs> John. And also, <laughs> and also in the old, <laughs> and also in the Old Testament, if you are bleeding, so. In the Old Testament, if you are a bleeding woman, you will need to do something to make people know that you are a bleeding woman and that you will be uh, considered as unclean. So it's like, that, like, it's not, it's very low. So, um, how, when, when did Jesus heal, when did Jesus heal um, the bleeding woman? On the way to Jairus', Jairus. Jairus. Jairus house. And what do you think, uh, what do you think of Jairus' request? Is that an urgent request or it's like... Kind of. Pretty, yeah, pretty just much. a little bit. Pretty much. Why do you think it's pretty much urgent? Because he's dying. His daughter's gonna die. His daughter's gonna die and... She got dead before he got there. So, how would you think his request will be? She was in critical condition. She was in critical condition. So, think about this. When Jesus approved that... When Jesus said, yes, I will go to heal your daughter. And on the way, during this critical moment. And then what did Jesus do? What happened? And then there was a woman in the crowd, bleeding woman, touched Jesus. And what did Jesus do? He stopped. He stopped, he stopped and then he. Like, touch me. And then he spent the time talking to that woman. So you will see in this urgent, critical moment that Jesus even stopped and talked to that woman. And then did Jesus heal the woman? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Jesus could have just gone and then just uh, just do nothing, but Jesus gave him gave her a personal attention. Just a hey, who healed? What did Jesus say? What did Jesus say in the um verse forty seven and forty eight? Can we have someone read this for us? Forty seven forty eight. Hannah. Forty seven. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. Now when the woman saw that she was not hidden, she came trembling and falling down before him, and she declared to him in the presence of all the people the reason she had touched him and how she was healed immediately. And he said to her, Daughter, be of good cheer. Your faith has made you well. Go in peace. So Jesus stopped and talked to her and gave her personal attention. So if you were Jairus, what will be what will be in your mind when Screaming. Jesus? You'd be jelly. You'll, you'd be, you'll be jealous. jealous. You'll be jealous. Because, like, your jealous. daughter is dying, but he Dead. is, is this instead, like, is. helping this person and stopping. Uh -huh. Like, he's putting you um, behind fold. the... <laughs> yeah, he's putting you behind the bleeding woman. Okay, so you will be... You'll be... You would feel that your needs are more urgent than this woman. You're alright, so you will feel that my need must be more urgent than that woman. And, Chris, uh, what did you say? He will be screaming. Screaming internally. What? what? <laughs> screaming internally. So what does it mean? It means that he's like really 
it's like you're screaming. Duh. Like you're so, screaming. so and right after that, Jesus talked to that woman. What happened? Someone told him that his daughter was dead. So, when Jesus stopped and told Jairus that your daughter was dead, what would you think Jairus would feel? No. Like, Jesus, no, if you like would be stop. hurry and do not stop and do not spend time talking to that woman, maybe. Maybe she could Yeah, maybe my daughter will still be. Still but what did Jesus say to Jairus? Chill out. Verse, um, fifty. Can we have, can we have someone read it for us? Fifty. Krista, did you find it? Mm -hmm. But when Jesus heard it, he answered him, saying, Do not be afraid, only believe, and she'll be made well. Okay, so, and Jesus told him that, do not be afraid. So, what kind of faith does Jesus require from Jairus? Very blind faith. Blind faith? Yes. Why do you think it's a blind faith? Because, I mean, like, he doesn't know what Jesus is going to do. Because, like, he only knows, like, Jesus is going to heal this girl. Like, he didn't think he was going to, like, raise her. But do you think that Jairus would know that Jesus would heal his daughter anyway? Do you think he has that kind of faith? Yeah. I think so, right? Otherwise, he won't come before Jesus. So I think the Jairus faith that Jesus required from Jairus is the faith they, that waits. You know, that you have to wait. Okay, tell your neighbor it's a faith. It's a faith that waits. Yeah. So. Thank you. Christa. It's a faith that you need to wait for a little bit. So. And what kind of faith did Jesus require from that bleeding woman? What kind of faith is that? So, what kind of faith did Jesus require from that bleeding woman? It's a faith of what? Think about how would that bleeding woman touch Jesus? It's a blind faith because she didn't know. But do you think, do you think that women would spend a lot of time and efforts trying to, you know, go into the crowd and then get her way and through Jesus because everyone is around Jesus and then. So I think the faith of that woman that Jesus required from her, it's a faith that prays on to, to him. That you have to press, go through the crowds and touch me. That is the faith that. So for Jairus, the faith is to what? Everyone? Wait. Wait. Yeah. Let me write this. Wait. And for bleeding woman, the faith is what? The faith to press. Yeah, to press on the crowd and then. Yep. Press this on. So. <clears throat> And what are the results of these two faith? Did Jesus heal Jairus' daughter? Yes. yes. Did he? Yeah. Did Jesus yes. heal the bleeding woman? Yes. 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 Yeah, yes. Jesus did the same thing. That he healed the Jairus and healed the bleeding woman. The result is the same, but the process is different. So what we are learning today is that maybe we are going through some um, problems or difficult times in our life. And... In that moment, we started to com compare with other people that, hey, we are going through the same thing. Why did he get away? And why did I have to suffer and everything? But we need to think about the, the, the two different levels of faith that Jesus wants us to learn in this lesson. The faith of Jairus is the faith that he needs to wait for a little bit. The faith for the bleeding woman is the faith that he needs to press on and then go through the crowd and then touch Jesus. The good news is, what are the, what are the results? That they all got healed. Yay. So, <laughs> healed. So it's just a different process that we need to have this hope that maybe it's not all healed by God. We pray for sick people and we sometimes see they um, not go as what we pray. Um, we all know that. But in this story that they are all healed and we give glory to the God. But in the process, there are something that we can learn from it. So let's look at our handout one more time. <clears throat> so there will be, um, let's spend like five minutes. And then you can reflect on the areas
that you need to grow stronger of your faith. Or you start to compete or to compare with others. What are those areas of that? Let me give you an example. So everybody knows that my wife, like working visa has been denied by the um, immigration that. service and everything. Come on, Obama. So, <laughs> Thanks, Obama. So it's because we thought uh, we thought it would go through, and then we will move to New York City smoothly, and then you know all this kind of thing. Then there will there won't be any gap. But lo and behold, in the uh, end of October, then we got a letter from the um, immigration service and said, hey, your visa has been denied. And I've never, I myself have never heard someone would be denied of that kind of visa. Because I, I heard a lot of like denial, but I've never heard, I've never heard this kind of visa would be denied by the immigration service. So I, what was that? Mean? What's going on with this? So we were a little bit afraid. To be honest, in that two days, I was like very suffering because because we need we know we need to go back to Taiwan to change the visa. But during that time, my wife was like thirty six week pregnant, thirty seven, so thirty seven. So how could we take a plan and then go back to you you know it's like the dilemma of what should I do? So in the first two days, I started to complain to God that hey. Why, why would I? Why do we need to suffer this? I have never heard someone who have been suffering of this kind of issue. Everyone thought it would be smooth, and everyone thought it would go through. But I started to ask God and complain a little bit. Why do I need to go through this? But when I was preparing for the lesson last night, I was once again reminded there is, should be no comparison, and maybe I'm going through. Something that God requires us to have bigger faith of Him, so we can more experience Him. So everything kind of work out right now, and the school started to do the visa for her, and then so it's moving forward. But just let you guys know,、um, when we start to complain or to compare what we are going through with others, there will be a temptation that we started to doubt God. So, but as we see. Do you, can you imagine what happened if Jairus just complained to Jesus when he was, like, when he was like healing the bleeding woman? Jesus might be, ah,、oh, you need to grow your faith. But I mean, you have to wait a little bit. So let's spend、uh, five, three minutes, and then you reflect on the area you need to grow stronger of your faith. Maybe it's your relationship with your parents. <laughs> Maybe you see, hey, how do you have that great par, great relationship with your parents, and how, how my parents just, you know, and maybe friendship,、um, schoolwork. I know a lot of you are going through the college of vocation,、um, right? How many of you are going through college of vocation? I think it's pretty in general. Okay, and then you will notice someone get admission first, but you have to wait. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, bit, and then you started to lose the、uh, patience. But remember, Jesus required different levels of faith from different people. Okay, so <laughs> let's spend three minutes. Okay, no talking, and then we just spend a little bit. Or you can review this,、um, review this story one more time. And then, when you are reflecting, I want you to use your own word to describe what happened in this story. Okay, that you can go out of this classroom knowing what we talked about without looking at the scripture. That oh, one day when Jesus was. <clears throat> So you write down the area of the faith you can grow, and also you will answer the question: Why did Jesus responded Jairus and bleeding woman's request differently? <clears throat> and.
And can I, like, in the end, can I have two volunteers to share a little bit, and then, okay, so. If it's too personal, you don't want to share it, that's fine. Um, but if it's something that's share, shareable. <laughs> Okay, um, do we need more time? Or, mm -hmm. Okay, so can I have two volunteers to share with us? If Don't, don't share, if it's too personal, that's fine, don't share. Um, it's between you and God, but if it's shareable, um, I would like to hear um, some of the sharing. This year. <laughs> <clears throat> and talk louder so the camera can hear it. Okay, and B. <laughs> uh, well, uh, having faith in God to give me strength to resist temptations. Mm -hmm. Okay. Especially after I fail. Like after I fail to resist temptation, uh, having faith mm -hmm. in God. Having yeah. faith in God. That he will give me strength. Mm -hmm. so, yes. Okay. So, this is the faith that needs to to persist yes. and then persist. to rely on God more. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Can we have a from a girl here? From a girl. Hannah. Okay. I said I need to grow stronger in my faith when it comes to school. Mm -hmm. I don't know, sometimes I just don't feel very motivated to do homework. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, Sam. Sam. <laughs> Sam. <laughs> Only if it's English or history. Mm -hmm. Only if it's school. Uh -oh. I was used to love this. Okay. So, what, what kind of faith would you think that w it would take to be more? The faith that motivate, motivates you to do the work. I don't know. I think it's just like faith that, you know, it'll be for God mm -hmm. and it'll be rewarded. Okay. Okay. Very good. So, um, shall we all pray together and let's just close it? Um,
Okay, so let's all pray together. <clears throat> Father, we once again thank you for this time that we can sit down and、um, study your word together. As we、uh, look at the story today, we know that you require different levels of faith from different people. So there is no comparison、um, between us. We don't compare ourselves with others, and thinking that why you did that to someone and not to us. Because we know if we start doing this, we will fall into temptation, um, and um, we know it's not what you want us to do. So as we look at the story today, let us know that the、uh, faith you require you require from Jairus is the faith that needs to wait a little bit for you, and for the bleeding woman is that the faith that needs to press on. And I pray for every one of us, including myself. That no matter what areas in our faith we need to grow,、um, give us the patience. Maybe that's the wait, the faith that need to wait, or the faith that needs to take actions. We pray they give us strength. And I also pray for Andy and then、um, Hannah as they share their personal struggles. That you will he-、um, help them、um, in those areas of growth and faith.、Um, we thank you and we praise you for this time once again,、um, and we commit it. And as we walk out of this classroom, let us、uh, be reminded this week that、um, we can grow our faith in you,、um, no matter what kind of、uh, faith that you require from us. And we thank you. We praise you.、Uh, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Say hi to camera. Say goodbye to camera. Goodbye. Oh my God. Watch it like.